much. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? My name is Sam Webb. And I am Nadia Mejia. And this is episode one of Sam and Nards. This is our first episode on our YouTube channel. Hopefully we can uh, inspire, uh, share a little bit more insight and depth into our own lives about who we are, where we're from, the challenges that we face obviously as a couple. I'm from Australia, Nadia's from America, uh, and everything else in between from careers. Travel to tips and tricks in the life of Sam and Nadia. I'm gonna give you a glimpse into our journey of life, this thing we call life, and, and we're excited about it. Yeah, and one thing we certainly definitely wanna make very clear from the start is there is certainly nothing that is perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll share our ups, our downs, our challenges. Our Raw and real, stress. our hearts on our sleeves. We both live by that. I think that's why we were like attracted to each other in the first place. We're celebrating our one year anniversary next week. Ne can I speak? <laughs> and next week, which is so exciting. Tell me a little bit about yourself and then I'll get a little bio and then we'll get into it. I'm 31 years of age. I'm going on 32 in May. Old, hot. You're not a cougar, but I like old. <laughs> I'm a Gemini, so watch out. Um, I, do you know about signs? Very good at signs. What's a Sag? Sagittarius. You've got a good heart. You, you, you mean well, you're a bit emotional, probably a bit too overly sensitive at times, but I think that's, uh, that's Nadia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, enough about that right now, though. And I'm Geminis are OCD, and they, okay, anyway, so go. Enough of you, <laughs> Nadia. And um, basically, I've, a very long story short, because th this is more just introduction, this episode, to the show, uh, I've landed in America to pursue my acting ambitions and to spread my charity that I co-founded uh, back in 2013 after the death of a good friend of mine, a suicide, and we wanted to expand it into the state so that we could help more people and save more lives. And um, I'm very lucky to be able to be over here, I guess. Um, and throughout the transition of getting to the states, I want to share with you even that process when it comes to visas and whatnot. So I think there's, there's so much to be learned. I'm looking forward to the show. I'm looking forward to sharing what I've learned to date. And, um, I hope you guys keep following the journey. I love that. And I'm Nadia. I'm 24 years old. Grew up in California. I've been a model for nine years. I sing. I dance. I have a really exciting project coming up that I can't wait to share with you guys that I'm not allowed to talk about. I was in Australia modeling, actually, and I met Sam on my second day there, coincidentally. and. We've been kind of this duo ever since. I, I like to consider us a power couple because we both are so, so passionate about so many things. And I think that's why we really wanted to start this channel so you guys could see our hearts, see our passion, see how real we are, and hopefully that could resonate with you, relate to you, and inspire you in some way, shape, or form. We can learn from you and you can learn from us. So today we just wanted to do like a little episode of like a Q&A. Just so that we can sort of get a better understanding, I hope, of each other, but you guys get a better <laughs> understanding of who we are. If you don't know me by now, we're like living together. That's yeah, so there'd be scared. a red flag, wouldn't it? We're gonna go to bed like really awkward. <laughs> there'd um, be a red flag, for sure. So. <laughs> Question number one. Which animal do you think my spirit animal is? An alpaca. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Have what? you ever seen alpacas like, <laughs> <laughs> I do make a lot of noises. It's like a zoo in here. Oh I make God. a lot of noises. Wait, Sam has sinus problems and it is so okay. And like, it's one of those things I like. It's not love. okay. Stop lying. Stop lying. Okay. Be honest, you hate it. It I you mad. literally makes me want to pull my hair out. So you just hear. <sighs> I'm getting better. I work at it all the time now. Okay, but you're not. That's your spirit animal. You're not bad. But you're also like a cuddly gorilla who just, just wants to hold me and be sweet. So. Okay, I wish I could say the same about you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Ooh, this is like a good one that your partner should know about you. What's my Starbucks order? Um, 
Mm. Starbucks. Starbucks order. I know you don't like the almond milk from Starbucks. It's so that's so whack. You are a soy cap. There's like a little detail that you're missing. So okay. it's a soy cappuccino, but what, how do I like it? How do I like the cappuccino? You yeah. always go, what does that mean? Ah, uh, yeah, you like it dry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, that was good, that, that was, was good. good. Mm. Who is the first person you call when you are in trouble? Well, let's most, both answer. Okay, both. Well, my, mine's definitely probably, I'm in the States right now, so I think if it's not Nadia, it would certainly be my mum. Definitely. He's big a mommy's boy. I'm a mommy's boy. Such big a mommy's boy. Shout out to big girl, Gabs. I love you, Gabs. You're amazing. Yeah, you, you call your mom. Problem wise, I mean, you deal with most of my problems, which I'm sorry. Um, it's like a really close tie between my mom and my dad because like my mom's like the more understanding, like Regina George's mom. And my dad is like, he'll fix the problem, but like he's a pastor as well. So he'll have like, a le not a lecture, but like a sermon to come along with it. So either of them, I guess it kind of depends on what kind of trouble I'm in, you know? What is your life's biggest accomplishment? I'd have to say accomplishments, being able to hold it together, I guess. And after Dwayne passed away and the ripple effect that his life had on an, an entire community changed so many people's lives. and to be able to try and turn something that was negative and the impact that it had on so many people into something so positive, where a community and a, and a country in Australia has rallied behind, has been certainly one of my biggest accomplishments to this day, but none, none of that would have been possible without the support that so many people give us from all walks of life. But um, but obviously I'd take all of that back to have Dwayne back, but yeah. And if you don't know necessarily what he's referring to on his shirt, he has his charity. It's called Livin, um, and it's suicide prevention. It's talking about mental health. And my biggest accomplishment had to be my recovery from anorexia and using my story to impact young girls to love the skin they're in. I did a pageant after my recovery, and it changed my life because. I'd done pageants before, but I never really understood the meaning of them. I was like, oh, I want a crown on my head. I want the glitz, I want the glam. And then I ended up winning Miss California the year that I recovered from anorexia because I shared my story. I was a real human with real problems who said, I'm not a recovered anorexic, I'm a recovering anorexic, but I want my story to not only inspire young girls, but me speaking out about it to make myself better and not be a hypocrite to my testimony. So. I think where you and I really like fell in love, our, our genuine moment of being like, wow, this is our person. It's really a connection there. It was very special. Obviously yeah. when I found that out, it was almost like you, it brings you instantly closer to that person when you find mm -hmm. out that they've, they've had challenges similar before on, on a level similar to what you've experienced. So I think that definitely uh, the chemistry and everything else was already there, but it brought everything a lot closer once that was unraveled. Definitely. Yeah, his transparency is like my favorite thing about him. It's like the hottest quality and most beautiful. Corny. Not for the rambling nuts. I'm not <laughs> rambling, I'm being sweet, you F. If you had to spend $1 million in one day, what would you buy? I would put that $1 million towards finding a cure for ichthyosis. So my niece, Lily, she's like my pride and joy, has a really I don't want to say super severe because there are cases. Very, rare. very rare skin disease. Um, we shed skin every three to four hours. They shed skin every several days. So she has a lot of skin buildup. She sometimes looks like a burnt victim. She can get really red. She's very dry. It can be uncomfortable for her. And I think for me, I, oh my God, I don't really get emotional. I already know how hard it is like growing up loving the skin you're in because that's something I definitely struggled with. I don't want my niece to go through that. So I want to do whatever I can to prevent her from the struggles of growing up and looking at yourself in the mirror and kind of questioning like if she's good enough, if she's pretty enough, because like she's perfect. So that money's going towards a cure for her. And I love Lily. She's a, an amazing little Hi, human God. being. <laughs> Favorite food. My favorite food, this is a no-brainer. Favorite food, Mexican. 100% of the time, if I could have Mexican breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I would have it every day. 
hence why margaritas are my favorite drink. And Mexico is my favorite country. Have you ever been on TV? I've been on TV, yes, a few times. I'm very, uh, very fortunate enough to have done Australian Survivor many years ago in season one. And um, yeah, do a bit of acting, recurring roles and neighbors and, and whatnot. So, and that's a, if, for people who don't know, that's a show back in Australia. It's a soap opera, it's like days of our lives, but it's awesome. Love being, um, <laughs> love doing acting, and uh, I find it very therapeutic. What is our song, Beyond? By Leon Bridges. Leon Bridges. Beyond by Leon Bridges, we randomly one day started slow dancing in my living room. So corny, so uh, And we'll, we'll show you that right we, now. Oh, we have that video, okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, that was corny, but anyways, that was like such a moment for us. That'll be our first wedding song when we get married, right? Yeah, baby. Cute. I have that on video. I'm holding you to that. Down to our last, last few questions. Name of your first child, boy and girl. A girl will be Willow Webb. I'm really into that. Boy? Jackson. Mm. Jackson Webb. He is a superstar. <laughs> he is born. He does sound like a he superstar. He literally he? is the new Brad Pitt, Jackson Webb. Because then they can call him Jack. Jack Webb. He's hot. Like what, you already what know. What superpower would you have? Oh. I'd fly. I'd be invisible, so I could be like a fly in the wall and listen to Sam's conversations when I'm not around. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. I'm a crazy I'd Latina. I'd fly because I'm over airplanes. True. What type of cologne? Or perfume do you prefer? One, two, three. Santal 33. 33. But that's all for us, guys. First episode of Sam and Nards. Stay tuned with us. Follow us on this journey. Ask us plenty Subscribe of questions. Subscribe below. Oh my God, I've never done that before. Subscribe right there. Write a comment, leave a review, and um, please keep following us on this journey. Hopefully we can add some value back into your own life. Love Bye. you guys. Bye. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>